Hey guys, it is Andrea and today I am coming at you with a plan with me. I'm actually going to be talking through the week so I'm just going to go over really quickly what I'm using and then I'll put some music on and then I'll be back whenever I get to the day by day. So I'm using the Grinchmas kit for Kirsten's birthday week. I think everyone who is friends with Kirsten use this kit because it is so her. I'm also sorry that my like background is dirty um, but yeah I need to change my poster board but I'll get there so I'm using that kit as well as a bunch of different silver foiled items a lot of them are from the new bow line and I'm just so excited to finally be using them I think they really work with this kit because they kind of are a little bit more whimsical and pretty and just kind of like I don't know fun and I love the way they look with the green so I am just gonna go ahead and lay down my spread and I will be right back Well, this is gonna be an early Christmas gift to you guys. Actually, I don't know when this is going live, so it might be a Christmas gift. I don't even know, but I'm gonna actually talk through this. You might hear Ryan in the background. He's going to be here for another 16 minutes. So, well, let's go ahead and start. I have all of my plans printed out. I write them down on my notes app in case you are wondering. And then I have like an air printer, like a laser printer at work I use to print um, orders and then I just go ahead and print them out on that printer um, so let's go ahead and roll up the sleeves all right so yeah let's go ahead and get into it so I kind of like plan weird if you guys don't know so let's actually put down my sidebar first because like why not I'm using silver foil this week I haven't planned in a minute I go through like streaks which I feel like isn't a bad like concept of like doing things is just kind of planning like as you want to not necessarily like every friday i have to sit down and fill out my planner because then it just gets a little bit crazy so i am going to put in my sidebar that i was whatever weeks pregnant 20 weeks pregnant and i'm hoping i'll just get back to the jam of getting things together and then i'm going to put in this little like kirsten sticker for from the little munchkins that are in the shop in the little bundle to I should actually leave this out huh to mark that it was Kirsten's um birth week which is super duper fun so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the 20 weeks here 
These are from our foil pregnancy stickers. So just going to plop her in. And then for Kirsten's birthday, I think I'm actually going to grab a foil sticker for that. I want to do like an updated um, foil and like just, I guess, just in general collection video um, sometime. But, you know, I'll get to it eventually. I have a couple of ideas of like non plan with me videos that I want to film. It's just like getting time to and I feel like maybe like in January, but also I'm like, I'm ambitious because I'm also going to be pretty pregnant soon. I mean, I'm pregnant, but like even more so pregnant. So I, whenever I do these, if you guys don't notice, I kind of do them like in weird. I don't start from the top or right down. I just kind of like start from like whatever I feel like it. So the first thing I'm going to put in that I did FaceTime Tiki this day. Um, Tiki is the owner of Aura Estelle. Um, I love Tiki literally so dang much. She is like one of my favorite people. I feel like she's one of the people that I talk to the most. So I want to go ahead and put that in. Um, this was going over actually the inserts. They had arrived to me this day. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of these girls because I think they're so cute. And this is from Toffee Bananas who is now paper shirt. I don't really remember. Um, but yeah, so I FaceTimed her and then I want to put in above that. So I like to put in something that's big and then like the work ones. I can either use this size strip or this size strip. So since I'm going to put two work ones in, I don't know. I kind of want to start putting like what I did at work because I do like a lot of different things at work. Not always the same thing. So maybe like I'll use something else. Okay, so I wanted to put in that I did these sash boxes with Emily and then I did random pull orders. So I think for that, I'm going to do a green label on top. This is from the label sampler. I feel like the only way I like to sit is cross leg. Like even I'm like that person in the restaurant, like a nice restaurant with my legs like sitting cross-legged like Indian style I guess they call it I don't know um but I feel like the more pregnant I get the more cross leg cross-legged does a little fit in there the more cross leg is very uncomfortable because it's like just pushing on the belly and yeah so I'm gonna have to, I just feel like I'm never really that comfortable I feel like this one's actually more uncomfortable than, than Bennett so all right, so for that, I think I want to put in four D-Sash uh, boxes with Emily. I think I'm actually just going to use an Emily sticker because, like, it makes sense. Um, for D-Sash boxes, we had, like, pre-pooled everything, so we knew pretty much what was going to be in, like, the boxes, like, as far as the variety of things. Um, and then we just went around, like, a table and, like, pulled one of everything. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And then for order filling, which I don't really ever order fill, I order filled for years. I'm over it. Um, Emily order fails now, but for random pulls, they're just a little more complicated. I mean, I'm sure Emily can do it. She's like pretty smart or whatever when it comes to packing orders, but I do like to do it. And it is a little bit of a science just because you do them in a specific order and kind of, it's just a lot. And if you like don't do them in a specific order and just kind of like pay attention to what you're pulling, you're going to end up running out of like combinations. Um, so that, that was fun. So those are my things for there. And then on the bottom, I put in at the very, very bottom, which I like to do, if it's a TV show, I like to put that in no matter what, even though it's like a small thing. Um, like I like to put it in first because I like for the TV to be the right way. Obviously I can use like an icon, but this is just like way dang easier. And then the other thing I wanted to put in is that I cuddled with Nikki. Um, I think I'm going to use a squared box for these. I love these so much. So I'm going to put this in here. And then above that, I wanted to put in that I did more work, which is just random computer stuff. So I think for that, since it was just random computer stuff, I'm just going to use a strip of the washi. I'm like so excited to be in the cloud, guys. If you, in the cloud. Yeah, I just, I love the name cloud. I don't know if I told you guys, but I actually came up with the name cloud. So I'm like really proud of it or whatever. Um, but um, I love like, I, whenever you say cloud, like, I'm really excited to be in the cloud. I don't know. It just sounds so fun. And there's actually like a lot of ideas. Uh, me and Tiki have been throwing back and forth for like future cloud type things. Um, and it's really cute. So um, definitely stay tuned for all of the awesomeness. Um, 
that is unfolding because it's we haven't stopped yet and we're not planning on stopping anytime soon. So for that, I'm going to use a Pox and Pip sticker and then for Nick, maybe I'll start doing this more often because I feel like it's easier than recording a voiceover because sometimes with voiceovers, I'm like, yeah, this is like so fun or whatever. And maybe I'll do just like a little intro. What am I doing? Cuddling with Nick. Um, maybe like a little intro and then do like a little music and then just pop right into this. So for Cuddling with Nick, I have these super cute cuddle stickers. These are super cute too. It's funny because I told Marg because she used to do like bright colors and I was like, can you stop? Because they would never match anything. And then she started doing muted colors and now I'm like, well, I wish I had a, like a brighter color. Sometimes she hates me. It's so funny because I got her a birthday present and I can't tell you like what it is because this girl is like crazy. She's... She texts me every day and is like, can I have a birthday hint? And my first hint was, actually I don't remember what the first hint was because she just asked me like a question. And then the second hint, she's like, you need to give me hints. And I'm like, it's not a horse. I don't know. Like, I don't, I'm not telling you what your birthday present is, but I wrote the funniest message and I cannot wait for her to read it. It's like very neat. So let me use this as like, I'm going to use this to like go down, but this is like the wiggle that came out this week and it is like so pretty. Um, Maggie from Crest Press is texting me because um, we do play dates and she's gonna bake me something. So I'm requesting brownies. Hyped on that. Um, then on Tuesday was I gave Nick his birthday present. What was the birthday present? I don't remember. So let's see. For giving Nick, actually, we also have there. Give Nick his birthday present, work film, play a new planner. So for, I think I'm gonna do play a new planner as like. No, I guess I'll give Nick a half box for giving him his birthday present or whatever. I don't remember what it was. Oh, and I also don't like to use like the same color half box next to a header that's that same color. Just kind of throws me off. So we're going to do this one because obviously I don't want to do the green because the green's right here. So let's go ahead and put this in for giving Nick his birthday present. And then I'm going to put in um, that I played in my new planner down underneath there. I'm gonna use a fancy label, maybe like a pattern one. No, 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 no. Not a pattern one, I'm not gonna use a pattern. I'm gonna use the green one. Cause I have a pattern right here, so I don't wanna put too much pattern together. I'm fine with putting solids together, but patterns are just like a different thing. But I'm actually not gonna use that because I'm not gonna have room to put something above it. So I'm going to put in just a green label for playing in my planner or why is there so many struggles do you guys ever like what do I want to do maybe I'll do this and then I'll take this guy and just plop that on in I feel like I mean realistically I should have been able to fit a label so I don't really know why I'm going crazy but we're just gonna leave it oh no 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 that's not what I wanted to do this is why I don't talk through things anymore this is gonna be a real long video so if you don't like listening to me talk, which is a very big possibility, you can just put on some of your own music, press the speed up button, and press the mute button. That is my, all I got for you, as far as tips. Because I don't blame you, I feel like it's getting a little warm in here, but I'm wearing a hoodie. So for giving Nick his birthday present, I think I'll use, do, 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 that's just my life. And then I played in my new planner, which was the cloud. So with the Aura Style orders, you actually got, not on glossy, because Mark does matte paper, which may or may not be changing eventually. I don't know. Wink, wink. And um, she's not changing to glossy, but you know. So this is the, oh, oh, set up new cloud. This is the little freebie you got whenever you ordered like an Aura Style planner. Um, the opening time, I guess. I don't know if you still get them. You can ask Tiki, but I don't know. But um, I asked her to send me the file so I could print and cut them. So obviously, I put up set up new cloud and we're like, oh my god, yay, or something. And then after that, 
Uh, down here, I'm going to put in that I went to Jeffrey's with Nick, which I'm going to do that with one of these squared boxes. It was kind of, we're trying to do like more, more like going out to eat and stuff because we do have a baby coming. So one thing that we regretted not doing is like going out on dates more prior to Bennett being born because like once he was born, like we was like a tidbit busy. So, um, I'm on day two and my, like, camera's already, like, it's too hot. Alright, so for Ikea, I think I actually do have an Ikea sticker, which I never get to use that. I didn't actually go to Ikea. I'm pretty sure Nick and my father-in-law did. But it was stuff for work, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of these super cute little Ikea munchkins. I might actually put... Yeah, I'm going to put this here because I want there to be, like, more room. And then above that is just for Target. So I think for Target, I actually just might use one of the little icons here, which is cute. I always forget that these exist. So making my life easy. Awesome. And then for Jeffries with Nick, I feel like I should just leave out the Nick stickers this week because we're obviously just doing it up. You know what I could go for right now? A Red Robin salad. I just had a Shake Shack burger, which I don't know. I'm just like, I just want salads and that's all. I guess Jeffrey's is kind of like fancier. I kind of just wish these stickers were a little bit smaller. Just a tiny bit because this is like a whole, a whole Kit Kat and caboodle here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I cut all stickers anyways, but this one needs, she needs a, a thick trim. Okay, that's cute, why don't you trim her? Then on Wednesday, I wanted to put in that I had Velvet Taco. So for Velvet Taco, I guess I'll use one of these actually. I really love the green in this kit. It like really makes me happy. I feel like this kit is like one of my favorites just because I love the colors really really fun and like contrasting and then for uh working i'm just gonna put in a little label um i did labels this day so i'm just gonna probably put like a computer or something or like an envelope an envelope yeah and then in the middle here i wanted to put in that was new releases i think i want to use flags for new releases because i feel like that'd be really fun uh the only thing is, is i'm gonna have to Actually, that would make sense that way, but I don't really like the idea of having two flags next to each other. Because this is, like, technically, like, the label is a flag. If you didn't know. I'm trying to figure out, like, what inserts I want to use in my cloud. That's the only thing I'm kind of, like, confuzzled about currently is, like, do I want to use the Jacenia ones or the Tiki ones? Because I feel like they're both, like, different, but, like, great options. So, let me know in the comments down below which one you are using because I'm stumped. And I'm going to put my flag here. I'm going to use this for new releases. I think that'd be cute. I don't really know what I want to put here for new releases. I think I have, like, a, something. We're going to find something that I want to put here. Actually, actually, what about the SSP logo here? That'd be cute. And then I don't even have to put anything on the actual flag. I'm just going to put this here and I'll know Wednesday. New releases. Above that, like I said, I did do labels. So for labels, I do have these super cute little envelopes that I just think are very fun. These are from Paper Milk. I'm like really bad at like saying where things are from. I feel like I've never been good at it. And everyone's like, where is it from? And I'm like, what sticker? I just never remember. And then for Velvet Taco... I'm going to go into my food section. I really feel like these um, sleeves are like kind of almost on their last leg. I really want to have progies so I can use that like dumpling sticker as a progie. So yeah, I'm going to need more holy bagel in my life. I had holy bagel this morning. Here's a taco. These like food doodles by Once More With Love are like kind of life. So a taco that day. I'm pretty sure we tried to get like a taco over the week, but they didn't have it. So I think I just got a cheeseburger one, which is like my favorite one from Velvet Taco. And then I wanted to put in a uh, playtime with B. And then at work, I collated a wiggle. Did I? Yeah, I did. I collated the silver wiggle. That was me. So I think for that, I'm thinking I'm going to use this guy here, right? And then for playtime with Bennett, I'm going to use a half box, I think. Maybe... 
the green one. I just really love the green. I'm here for it. Um, I don't really know what I want to do because I, I always feel like Ryan, why do you have to listen to yourself out loud? He's leaving anyways. Alright, so Yeah. Okay, so for playtime with Bennett, I think I'm gonna use one of these ginormo stickers just because I have a ginormo space to use. Actually, I might move it. Um, yeah, I don't really like having this much like space above and below. It just kind of makes me, I don't know, I feel like I should have thought of something else. I try to think of like three things minimum per box, so six things minimum per day. But sometimes I just can't think of anything because I literally just like played with Bennett the whole time. You know what I mean? Okay, so I pulled stickers. I might just do this. If I'm going to talk through these. I'm going to have to pull stickers because it's not going to happen. So I'm using this Emily. Um, it's actually like packing orders. Which I feel like would have made more sense up here. And then this would made more sense down here. But I collated a wiggle this day. Like I said, Ryan's not here. So any noises you hear are probably ghosts. Or a ghost. I don't know. Maybe plural. Not sure. But yeah. It was like perfect timing. So... Let's go ahead and see what else we got going on. Alright, on Thursday, I took Boa to school. Normally, I don't do it because it makes me sad all day because sometimes he cries. But today, I did. And uh, so for that, actually, I'm going to just do what I said. Like, I have to do, like, different things. So, I'm going to start from the bottom. So, this was actually... I went to Walmart. I don't know. Like, do you want me to talk chronologically about putting things on backwards? Or would you prefer for me to talk the way that I'm putting things down and you can just kind of figure out the order they were in. Cause like, I guess, do you really care what order they were in? Because like, does it really matter? So this day I went to Walmart because I wanted to get some toys to donate at Bubba's school. So I think we went, uh, we went for something else too, but it wasn't like, we probably could have just went to Target for it, but. We went there, and then I wanted to go ahead and put in that we went to, actually, I probably should do, let's do, yeah, 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 let's start at the top, let's just, I don't know my life, one, two, three, just wait, okay, so let's start at the top, I right, took Bubba to school, so we'll put that in, and then I went to work and cleaned, so for that, actually, I might just use one of these and then just put work next to it. Let's do this guy. And then I'll use a work script. And then I went to Red Robin because and necessities. So I'm going to use a strip of the washi for that. Let me grab my stickers. So Bubba at school, I'm going to use this Funchkin. A Funchkin is um, whenever I was in Hawaii, Mark drew me a Munchkin body and then I just drew like funny munchkins. She says I'm like pretty talented at hair and clothes in case you were wondering. Um, so that was something that I drew obviously with Marg's permission because otherwise that'd be no fun. Um, but yeah, she thought it was funny. So then I'm gonna put this in for cleaning at work. And then for Red Robin, I'm just gonna use a salad sticker. I'm really blowing through these. Like I think that there's never been anything that I've blown through more than salad stickers, which is not a bad thing and then for going to Walmart, I just put in one of these stickers from Stick With The Plan Co. And then if I go down to the bottom area, we dropped off the toys at Bennett's school. So for donating toys, I'm just gonna use a bigger box because the rest of the stuff isn't that important. Um, and then I had Culver's for dinner, which I haven't had Culver's in a minute, which I'm a very big fan of their fries. And then after that, I did go to work to pack orders. So I think for that, I'm going to use a patterned fancy label. Just go crazy. I'm really switching it up here, you know. I'm also very, very sorry for my cuticles if that bothers anybody because they're rough. I went to the movies last week and I don't know why, but I was just like... That's when it all started. So, and then I'm gonna put in this burger sticker from Once More With Love. This crunch sticker is also from Once More With Love. And then I'm also gonna put in this packing order sticker, which I did also use. Um, I packed, I didn't like pull orders. This was just like, 
putting them in the mailers. There wasn't actually that many of them, but they were like the remaining Black Friday ones in a new package and they got dropped on Friday. So on Friday, we finally had time to open the 1,500 pound foil order, um, which is just wild. So for that, I think I'm going to use a half box because it was kind of like an event. So I'm gonna use this one. This kit is so cute. Um, and then um, moved around the office. So for that, I'm going to use a fancy label. I'm gonna use the light pink one. Because also they put together a bunch of stuff for like organization. And then after that, I went to Red Robin again for um, good measure, uh, just in case you didn't know how many times I got Red Robin this week. It was a lot. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and grab, I think I'm gonna do what, like this mid-tone pink color little thing and just pop that right on in. It's a little crooked, but you know, it's my life. So for the foil order, I'm gonna use this munchkin peeking out of a box, which is from the moving sheet. For moving things around to work, I am going to use this whimsical cat studio workout girl, cause that's just me. And then I'm gonna use another Once More Love salad sticker for going to Red Robin. Then afterwards, I was very, very tired. So I did take a cat nap, but first, I do need to put in that I uh, Riverdale was on. Or not was on, but I watched an episode. I, wa I don't watch things when they're on. I watch them like whenever I have time to. Um, Emily texts me, I think every single week telling me about how great the purge was. And I'm like, Emily, still haven't watched it yet. Um, I think I watched two episodes. And she's like, it's so good. I'm like, yeah, you said that last week. And I told you last week, I am not up to date. I told her mid-January is probably accurate. So uh, Riverdale, because, and you're like, well, why are you watching Riverdale? I watch Riverdale because I watch it on myself. The Purge and a bunch of other shows, like The Dark Crystal, which I'm still not finished with, is something Nick and I watch together. So we watch like Modern Family, Fresh Off the Boat, um, Superstore. We watch those like pretty consistently weekly because they're like not really like shows you have to pay attention to. The Purge is a little bit more intense. And also, I don't really want to watch it in front of Bennett. Not that like he really gets anything, but at the same time, like he also isn't stupid. So I kind of wait, like I'm on the air of caution of watching like kind of spookier things with him, I guess. So I did take a cat nap, like I said. It was literally, I think, 30 minutes, probably the shortest nap I've taken ever. Not ever, but like, it was kind of like not worth it. Um, cuddled, or hung out with the boys, and then watched Riverdale. Then the next day, Bennett had a play date. So for the play date itself, I'm gonna use a... I'm gonna use a squared off box, I think. Yeah. Um, so we went over to Maggie of Caraspes' house um, for a play date. Her son is, I believe, three months younger than Bennett, so it's kind of like perfect age gap. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and put in this cute little Once Worth Love sticker. I need kind of like two kids. I have like a boy and a girl, which I don't think it really matters, but I kind of wish I had like gender, like this would be cute if it like they didn't have the bows. Again, not that they care, but just saying. Um, so I don't have that, but we're just gonna pretend. I don't really care. Um, then I'm gonna put in, since I have a ton of room here, like literally a ton, I would normally not put Starbucks and donuts like on separate things, but because like I said, we have a lot of room and that was like pretty much our whole day, not well, like the whole beginning of the day, I am gonna go ahead and put in um, we got Starbucks on the way, and then they bought Round Rock Donuts, which they got like three boxes of them, which was uh, the probably the most donuts I've ever seen in my life. So Bennett was like in his um, zone, but also Lucas gave him a run for his money on how many donuts he could eat. Um, it was just honestly a mess because Bennett is not a clean eater, so... I felt a little bad, but that is that. I'm also, I go in whenever I'm writing things and then I put in most of my scripts. I don't usually put them in as I go, but you might have noticed that if you watch the play with me's. So then afterwards, afterwards, let's see. 
Alright, so I want to put in that we went to Target. For Target, I think I'm going to use a quarter box, like go crazy, and put that in. I don't remember why we went to Target. It was probably just for like, you know, the basics that I need to get three times a week that I always forget one thing and then have to go back. Like, so sad, I know. And then I'm going to put in that we watched Disney+. Plus. For watching Disney+, Plus, I think I'm going to use... I don't know, actually... Sometimes I like wish there was like, uh, no. I was going to say, I wish there was something in between, but this is in between. So, ooh, wait, 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 Disney Plus, I can use one of these. I always forget these exist because they're on the deco page, which I put them there. But at the same time, I forget that they're there. So, I need constant reminder. And then I think for down here, I'm going to use like a pink. One of these do daddies here. So, Disney Plus, I have this super stinking cute Disney Plus sticker. I literally like went through all my stickers because I was like, what category did I put this in? Um, that's from Once More With Love. I mean, y'all know. And then this is also from Once More With Love. This is from like a Christmas sheet, but it was just like cuddle with Nikki. I think we like watched Disney Plus and cuddle probably like after Bennett went to bed. Sure. And it's like just like a little like couple kissing under the mistletoe, which I think is adorable. Trying to teach Bennett to kiss on the mistletoe, but like he doesn't like care about the mistletoe, but he'll give kisses on command. So you win some, you lose some. Then for Kirsten's birthday, which how many things do I have? I print this stuff out. All right. So I actually think for Kirsten's birthday, I want to use a big old, a big old squared off box. Cause you know, oh wait, that's the same color. I can't use that. Darn. Okay. I lied. I'm going to use a half box. So I like thought about this for a minute and I have like Kirsten stickers, obviously. Oh no, wait, I'm going to use a pattern one because that just seems like fancy, right? So I was like, what do I want to use? What do I want to use? I always, I have like a ton of stickers that are like girls that could be Kirsten, you know, like characters with brown hair. But I printed out these stickers for Kirsten. Um, this is the same artist that does the like Disney uh, princess ones. If you just search on Etsy, like Disney, actually I don't know, like, I feel like the easy way to find things is like Toy Story clip art or something or like something like that. Um, they came out with the Baby Yoda like clip art the same day as Kirsten's birthday. I'm not selling these because they don't do like commercial licenses and also like other problems. But, okay. So I made those for Kirsten, but like I'm going to use the frog, Baby Yoda eating the little frog. I was going to use the toilet one Kirsten, but I thought that this one was funnier. So that for it being Kirsten's actual birthday. So I did blow up balloons because, I don't know, I just feel like you got to have some kind of decoration if people are coming over for birthdays, you know. A little something. And I always have, like, balloons. So I just blew up a pack of, like, 25 balloons just to kind of give a festive feel. So for that, I'm going to put in this little Max because he's kind of sad because it did kind of, like, take the wind out of me a little probably also a pregnancy problem but it was worth it i think it looked pretty dang cute and then we um what else did i put in uh, before everyone came over we did play outside for quite a bit um just like playing with bennett's like car thing and just kind of like hanging out so put that in such a nice day and then we had noodles, ice cream cake, and we played Cards Against Humanity. Humanity. I don't know. I feel like I always want to put humanities after. I don't know. I, like, I'm just, like, constantly losing my marbles. So, do, do, do. And that's, like, where the characters should be. So, I think for Cards Against Humanity, I'm going to put in this Once More Love sticker. Super cute. I'm going to have to look up how to spell that because otherwise it's going to be a disaster. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in that... We had ice cream cake, which is so good. I found them at the Target Frozen section. Tasted almost just as good as Carvel. And then after that, I want to put in that we had, well, just kidding. I'm going to put in that we had uh, Zion noodles first, which is like, there is, it's fine. Not my favorite noodles, but the um, orange chicken was pretty good. And then we had a ice cream cake. So... That's everything. Woo! So what I do now... Oh, for a second I thought you guys were getting a peek of January Mystery there. He might have at some point, but... 
who knows. Um, so for now, what I do here is, is I go ahead and put this in my desatch pile, which I probably could do a giveaway very soon. I do those on Facebook, just because it's easy peasy. Um, and now what I'm going to do is open her up. Give her a little wiggle. You know what's crazy? So this is like a preview to next week, right? And then I just have two spreads. Like tonight, I might lay those two spreads down. I think that this is this week, because this was last week. This was last week. So this might be next week, but today is like Thursday. And then I'm done. I need to bring my glue roller. So I'm just like glue rolling. A lot of people are like, oh, like this week was in this week and the other week. And like, should I do two spreads? I mean, I sell stickers, so go right for it. But you can just like do double-sided tape and then just, and no one knows the difference, you know? So, but if you want to buy two sticker kits and do two spreads, oh, that's your little sneak, then go right at it. But this is my spread for this week. I'm going to fill it out. I'm going to put all my foil out. I'm going to use these little, um, the new bow, like deco pieces all around and go crazy. But I hope you like this week's little spread. I hope you like the longer video. I'm not going to do them forever. I doubt it. I, I don't think I'm going to do them forever. I doubt that I'll do them forever, but it's a little treat for now, possibly if you like longer videos. So that's everything. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.